In this video, we're going to be setting up authentication to Hazura using JWT tokens passed through the header. If you find any of this useful, please like and subscribe, that would be awesome. I might have talked about this before, but I've called the project Outlander as a temporary working name until I can figure out a real name for the project. So you'll see the name Outlander scattered through these videos. We're going to be covering two entities, the auth layer, which is the Outlander auth project, as well as Hazura. And we're going to be generating a JWT token from the auth layer and passing it into Hazura and making sure it's fine with the token. Our goal now is to configure JWT in Hazura, as well as produce a JWT token in our request from the client. The green highlight at the top shows us our authorization header, which is our JWT token. And for the time being, the JWT token is just going to contain the user's role in the system. And the first role we work on is the anonymous role, which we created in the last video. This will give you a good overview as to the sequence of events. So first the client makes a request to our node auth layer, which is called out lambda auth in our code base. And that's going to request, hey, I'd like a token, please. And at this point in time, we don't have any Facebook authentication details. So we're just passing nothing through to that request. And you can see it says Facebook token, no, um, and passes just back a brand new um, JWT auth token. And then the client uses that token that it gets back and it weaves it into its header. And I'll show the code for them. And then all requests going to Hazura have that header that it just got given from the node auth layer. So I've shared my code for Outlander Auth on GitHub, and you should be able to see the link below. Outlander Auth is a Node.js application. It's a very thin layer of backend. I was trying to avoid doing any backend work whatsoever, but we're using it just for the thin layer of authentication in the system. I'll show you how to set it up in just a minute. Let's go ahead and clone Outlander Auth. Let's check out Hazura's JWT documentation. So the documentation says that we can either pass a JWT secret flag, or we can set Hazura GraphQL JWT secret variable in Heroku's admin console. Just down from where you can see, there's a piece of documentation saying that for HS256, the string length needs to be at least 32 characters. So I just went with that. I went with something simple, H25, HS256 and 32 characters. So let's go and build a random string for our secret key. And this totally could be you just typing in something random. I just use a generator for, for the sake of it. Now we have a secret key, we need to tell both Hazura about the secret key and um, also our auth layer, our Outlander auth. So in my config, if, if you do a git clone on the repository on Outlander auth, you can throw in the private token for JWT as your secret key, you can throw it in there. And we'll move on to doing Hazura configuration as well. Now log into Heroku, go to settings, and click the reveal config vase, and in there you want to be adding your new token. Copying and pasting Hazura's example, 
I'm just going to take these two properties, type and key. So we're setting up both the code and Hazira to have the same private key. Outlander auth is the configuration in that is going to have the private key. And we're also going to tell Hazura about the private key just here. Let's start by calling Outlander Auth and getting it to generate a JWT token for us. And the next step later will be for us to pass that JWT token through to Hazura. So let's see some stuff in action. First, we need to do an npm install to get the packages to install. Then after that, we're gonna go back to the index.js and hit F5. I'm, I'm running um, Visual Studio code but F5 is going to trigger the debugger. Looking at the index.js, you can see that we've got uh, an action on there that's waiting for a post. So if we post using curl, you could use postman if you want, but I don't really like postman anymore. Um, using curl, we're going to pass the port number, which is 5001. And you can see the port number in the config.js. And we're going to post through to the endpoint, and we should get our um, JWT token back. And I'm just stepping through the code quickly here, just so you can see roughly what's going on. And feel free to poke around in the code. And you can see that the action has gone the route of creating an anonymous JWT token. And you can see what that boils down to is it has claims. It has your IO JWT claims. And we're specifying the allowed, sorry, the default role of anonymous. So we're, we're at our anonymous role. And here's the response. There's our JWT token back in our terminal window, starting with E, Y, J, and so on. So in theory, we can make Hazura requests now as an anonymous user. So the role is anonymous. And uh, Hazura should understand that. This JWT token that we just received back, this is the thing that we want to post to Hazura in our header and Hazior is just going to let us access data then. One thing you can do to verify your JWT token that gets generated correctly is to copy and paste its contents and throw it into the JWT.io into their debugger. And you can see uh, the output as the payload on the right hand side in pink. So we can take it a step further and run the JWT token through Hazura. Right here, we've got the X has your admin secret turned off as a header, which means that if you don't pass this secret, you're not going to receive any graph, uh, GraphQL information back. It's locked down. Um, so we can pass the X has your admin secret, but really we want to be passing this JWT token. So let's add the header. You can see that when the authentication isn't set up correctly, that the view on the left hand side, the uh, Explorer view says no schema available. So that's how you can see that it's denying you. So when we add our authorization header, we set the first bit of the value as the words bearer, add a space, then we add our token. It has this handy dandy little J decode JWT icon here. And if you click that, it's going to explode the uh, token so you can see what's actually inside it.
Now we've got the correct authorization header set up. Um, we can see in the Explorer view on the left that we can see all the different data sources. And we can see those data sources because when we're setting up our data in the data tab, we'd set up permissions and we'd said that the anonymous role can see the city in the community tables. If we hadn't set those, we wouldn't see them now. Just as a quick reminder, this is where we had defined the anonymous user having select on our tables. To summarize this video, we've built our JWT token. We've copied and pasted that into Hazura and Hazura is saying it's fine with how we've generated the token. And we've seen from Hazura that it can extract the role of anonymous within the token and it's giving us access to the tables that we want access to.